How do my artists and welcome to the Lenala Great Challenge. I'll show you a couple of test runs, just what I tried to go in with, uh, just to test out the stage. I used um, Giratina there for the special power, uh, Yvettel is necessary because there's quite a few unbreakable blocks, a couple of breakable blocks. Uh, I brought the hooped version of the uh, Hooper, the bound version of the Hooper, sorry, uh, just to get rid of some of those iced blocks as they will come in that. So one of my itemless runs, it was maybe a sixth of the health left, another one here, so that's the starting board, lots of Lunalas on the bottom, trying to get the Hooper to work just to get rid of all of those ice blocks, the Yvettel there necessary because there are an awful lot of the unbreakables which is a great pain when you're trying to do something great and the Mega Gengar is not really useful on this stage. It's a Mega that's meant for the comboing stage but here what you need is something that's going to take away the disruptions and there's nothing that in my view is great for that in the ghost or dark types. Maybe an Absol could work, possibly. In the full run, I'll show you in a second, I use a completely different one. But here, another disruption, which is kind of in a strange star formation. And then Lunala will disrupt itself with itself and get rid of all of itself. It's a, it's a pretty tricky stage, to say the least. Again, maybe a third of its health is gone from an itemless run. It's such a tanky stage. But I will show you my full item run here, going in, just chucking everything, including the kitchen sink and the complexity minus one at it, hoping to beat it, because I did try, you know, three or four different test runs of different teams just to see what got the best result. So this going in with a Mega Tyranitar just there to get rid of the numerous disruptions. A uh, Hooper, same as it was before, just to get rid of the Ice Blocks and Tyranitar. And Yvettel, I mean Yvettel there for the unbreakable blocks. This team is entirely overpowered. I possibly wouldn't recommend using a complexity minus one if you if you don't need it. I assumed it would be needed. I went in just all guns, a blazing full item run, and this is just such an overpowered team. I was able to beat it in just a couple of moves because the combos keep coming. As you'll notice, there's no Giratina here because it's a, a, the complexity minus one gets rid of it. No disruption, so it's pretty much just a clear through battle for you if you're using it this way. And it will just become a stage where there's combos upon combos, and then maybe a Mega Tyranitar will come in at some point, and there'll be ability to get rid of you know, more combos and more combos. So try, if you've not got the coins, not using a complexity minus one. It's incredibly helpful. That is what won me this stage in four moves, but it's not necessarily necessary. So for what would be nine moves left without the plus five moves, it's 36%. Certainly not too shabby for such a difficult stage where you're throwing so many coins at it. And I can't complain because I caught it first time around. S rank as well, not that that even matters. So attack 80, absolutely incredible, and phantom combo, increases damage done by any ghost types in a combo, so that's pretty much just the ghost equivalent of a pyre or a pummel. But thank you very much for watching, and how do, my artists? Eggs, eggs, E-double-G-S-eggs.